So I took the Coleman CC100X out for a 0 to 30 at top speed with the VM22 carb on a Hemi Predator with the stock length intake manifold. And I think it did 56 miles per hour. 56.59 miles per hour. And in the four second range from 0 to 30. 4.72, 4.72. So with the VM22 carb, with a stock length intake manifold, and then with the half inch intake manifold, it pretty much performed exactly the same with both. So now I think I'm gonna do the same exact test, zero to 30 in top speed with this bike, with the Duramax 208, the entire engine stock, except for a VM22, a header pipe, and 18 pound springs. So we'll see if the stock two inch VM22 intake manifold will outperform the half inch intake manifold with the Duramax 208. Let's go test the zero to 30 in top speed with the long intake manifold. Zero to 30 Duramax 208 VM22 with a stock length intake. First zero to 30, four seconds flat, four seconds flat. Let me do it again. Zero to 30, Duramax 208, VM22, stock length intake. Zero to 30 in, four seconds flat. Again, four seconds flat. Two times in a row, four seconds flat. All right, let me do top speed. Okay, top speed. Max 208 VM22 with a stock link intake. Okay, did a top speed of 49 miles per hour, 49.48 miles per hour. So let me go change out that intake and we'll do it again. Okay, we got 49 miles per hour, 49.48 miles per hour, and four seconds flat from zero to 30. Now let's change out that intake to the half inch intake and see what it does. It'll be interesting to see if this thing picks up anything with that half inch intake. Only one way to find out. So let me pull off this carb. Alright, so the VM22 already has the um, 
o-ring makes it nice so i don't need any gasket all right all righty there we go let's go test this out for zero to 30 and top speed and see if it makes any difference Short intake, Duramax 208, VM22. All right, did zero to 30 in 4.22. That's a lot slower. Let me try that again. did this time okay 3.98 3.98 let me do it one more time to see if I can back that up See what it did for the third time okay 4.03 so it's i mean they're all very similar in time it doesn't feel much different so let me do a top speed Take Durobax 208 VM22. See what it did for top speed. Top speed, it did 48.49 miles per hour. 48.49. Short intake versus long intake on the Duramax 208. It didn't seem like it made much of a difference on this bike. I mean, it actually might have made it a spec slower. If you look at the numbers, the long intake, the zero to 30 in four seconds flat, in the short intake, did a 4.22, a 3.98, and a 4.03. Average them all out, and it's a 4.07. I mean, so it was a spec slower, but riding it, it pretty much feels the same. And then the top speed, the long intake did 49.48, and the short did 48.49. So it lost a mile per hour. So it's actually a spec slower with the short intake on the Duramax 208 anyway. So I'll have to take that intake and try it on a more modified engine, something a little more radical. We'll see if it makes a difference. But as far as these engines go, it doesn't really make much of a difference. It seemed like on the Predator, it was actually even more even. Actually, they both acted pretty much the same on a Predator, long and short. 
but this engine here didn't really respond very good to it. 